A giant container ship as long as the Empire State Building is tall, stuck in the Suez Canal for almost a week, is now moving again. Welcome back. I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Dick Brennan. We can tell you that the Suez Canal disaster has hit world economies hard with billions lost in global trade. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelo spoke to experts about the local economic impact. Freedom at last for this colossal container ship, the Ever Given, which blocked the Suez Canal for nearly a week. The sound of relief from tugboats Monday morning because this means the critical waterway is open again. About 12% of world trade flows through there and 10% of the world's oil. So it's really significant. Place. It's one of the busiest trade routes in the world, with ships carrying everything from crude oil to clothing, furniture, car parts, and toilet paper. And 95% of consumer goods uh, come from overseas and come on a ship such as the ever given. Deputy Port Director for the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey says 38% of its cargo moves through the Suez. She expects to see the impact here in about a week. First, hundreds of ships stuck in a traffic jam must move through the canal. There will certainly be a delay in uh, the commodities that are on that vessel uh, reaching the store shelves. Uh, but it will be relatively insignificant as compared to the impact of COVID-19, where global uh, manufacturing was shut down for several months. We wouldn't feel that much of an impact except for what was last week's oil price hike. Says economics professor Luis Portes. Both explain the impact to the consumer would be greater if this lasted longer. The rerouting of ships around the, the southern tip of Africa would have mattered because that's an extra delay. It's about seven to ten extra days. I think it would be mostly remembered as a glitch. Experts we spoke to say a big takeaway is the public awareness this event raised on the importance of the Suez Canal and global trade to our economy. In Bayonne, New Jersey, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Now, the head of the Suez Canal Authority says navigation in the canal resumed this afternoon and the first ships to get moving were carrying livestock.